hello and welcome to my youtube channel and my show diy with king tonto for today's episode of diy with king tonto i'll be teaching you how to make your immune system booster i mean we all know of the recent pandemic um coronavirus i mean the regular flu and so many other illnesses that could attack us or we get because our immune system is low so today i'll be teaching you how to make your immune system booster with just very few ingredients and ingredients that might just be lying in your house and you never really know that you could actually do this so today i'll be making my immune system booster with um a lemon i hope we all know what a lemon i mean definitely we all know what a lemon is and um a ginger uh, ginger root it's um yeah it's just like the name is like a root it's um it's very spicy like hot in when you take it i don't know how to describe it but i'm very sure we all know what ginger is even if we've never used it before but we have seen this in a market or supermarket or somewhere maybe on tv so yes this is ginger we'll be using turmeric turmeric is also a plant like ginger but this is dried turmeric is already processed um, so I was looking for the natural the, the, the raw turmeric but I couldn't get it so I had to get this one and we need um, black pepper a little bit of black pepper we sure do need our honey very important yeah now i've told you the ingredients used in making your immune system booster but i will also tell you that you need a lot of items to make not a lot you need a few items but the correct ones to make this one is you need your sieve we all know this uh, i don't know what it's called in different dialects but i call it a sieve um wash rice washer whatever it is that you you call it this is it um, you need your measuring spoon like I always tell you in the kitchen it's very important to actually know the amount you're putting into anything especially when you're taking it into your body you also need a wooden spoon I love wooden spoons because they do not dispel any chemicals in your food while cooking it's just really safe to, to use and you also do need a knife like you all know I always advise on safety so please get a knife that you can actually cover up or that you can actually store somewhere and I mean so your environment will be safe especially when you have children at home so yes I'll get straight to how to make your immune system booster I'm gonna be making two immune system booster one a shot and one a tea now for the shot for the tea no for the shot I'll be making the shots first for the shot I have already here my lemon and my ginger I have already washed it up cut it out cut it up and diced it and then this is it so like i said this is your lemon and this is your um ginger just for you to wash this dice it up peel up the uh, the back of the lemon and dice it into cubes i sometimes take the the back i use my i, I do the process with the back on it as long as i wash it properly yes you can do that so yeah i have this now <clears throat> i'll just do simple things this is my blender so i will be using i'll be putting i'll just sorry i'll just put all of this in here all of this in here I also forgot to tell you while you're making your immune system booster especially your shots you do need a few ingredients and no a few items too which are your bottles storing bottles you can have that little one uh, you can have this in Walmart or you can have that in Minso in Nigeria here but they're really cute and they're just little they call shots because you're not supposed to be taking a large quantity because they're really 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 concentrated and you can also have this kind of bottles too so whatever rocks your fancy but have a bottle to store it so this is my turmeric i'm going to be putting half a teaspoon of turmeric in here maybe i should just put a full teaspoon in here i set this down i set that down i love my environment to be really very clean and i'll have water in it 
Um, now this is coconut water. So you can use any water at all at home. You can use your normal water. It's still very okay. But I love to use my coconut water because it just has some flavor and it's just very good for my son to take. Yeah, he takes it too. So I just put that in there. The quantity of water should be put according to the quantity of products that you have in there. So you don't get it to be too. So this is it. That's how it looks. So in here I have my ginger diced, clean diced. I have my lemon washed diced. I have my turmeric in here. And I'm just going to be, okay. So I'm just going to be blending this. I'll blend it really, really like a pastry thing. While blending this, you really want to achieve one thing. You really want to get this to really, really, you know, tear or you know what grind, whatever it is that you want to say. But it has to see that the flavors and everything can actually come out. I have successfully blended my shots so what is remaining for me to do now is just to pour it out and um, remember I had chunks of um, lemon I had chunks of um, ginger and um, if I had my natural uh, turmeric I would have had chunks of natural turmeric in here all blended so you definitely will have some seaweed kind of thingy in it so what I would do now it's sorry I'll just tip it over okay. yeah I'll just tip it over like that and drain it really good I'll drain it really good look how beautiful that color is like oh my god to drink it you know when you're making something that you know it's so healthy good for your body good for the soul people around you you can't do it being silent you just give a wiggle wiggle dance yeah do a wiggle wiggle <laughs> okay so i'm just doing i'm pressing it so i can get all my juice out i don't want to waste this um although i already have a home so for today i'm going to be making for i and my crew and we're a lot so i'm not going to be wasting this I'm not gonna be wasting it. I want all of my juice out. So if I have this juice, I just tip it over and clamor for more. And I do this until I get all you see the reason why I'm draining it is because I want to separate the water, which is this, from this okay and this some people don't throw it away but i i sometimes i throw it away sometimes I turn into a tea but when i want to drink the tea i do it the tea method which i'm going to teach you so i don't really save these i just discard it but some people use it for you so you, maybe you can actually stop the internet and see what you can actually use this for i am a hater of wasting food like oh uh, no 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 okay so this is it okay so now this this is our shot but i'm just going to be turning it in here and before i turn it in here i will be putting dazzles just be, just at the bottom okay and you can mix it inside but i do this because sometimes i store it so i don't like to mix it i just leave it in there and um you can also put you, you will also have to put that's a pinch of black pepper in it just at the bottom okay and I am I, I don't I've been looking for a sieve to buy and I for some not a sieve funny or that, that thing that is like that you know that just I've been looking for that thing to buy like forever and I couldn't find one so guys I'm really sorry 
um, but yes, you would have to need that for this next process, but I'll just manage what I have, okay? So I'll just scoop mine in it like that. Okay, I'm, I'm really sorry guys, I'm really sorry, I know. But everything out here is being washed. And I can just cover this up, okay? And just put it in my fridge. And I could take it in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the night. Uh, sometimes, like, I try to control the intake for my son. So I try to have this little container so I know that I could just, uh, you know, put a little bit of honey in it. I put my black pepper. Okay. So yeah, this is my immune system booster shot and it is amazing. I will try it right now for you to see. So before I take this, this is how I store it. So before I take this, I just give it a good shake like waga waga. <laughs> really really shake it so the everything can just melt and go in uh, nah. mm. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> mm. that was amazing and that is how to make your immune system booster so you have to have the right amount of everything in this. I can taste more lemon than ginger, which um, that is the way I wanted it because I don't know if everybody around me is ginger, ginger inclined, but that ginger is one of the best things to use. So yeah, so we've, we're done with this. And we'll go on to how to make your immune system booster tea. So, but before then, you all know how I am very, very crazy about hygiene. I don't joke with it at all. So after we've done that, we would have to clean our surface. This is a disinfectant wipe. I have taken off the wrapper because I'm not going to be introducing anybody without the money. <laughs> so yes, this is it. Okay, so we're done with this. I set it down here. Now, for the immune system booster tea, why I am showing you the two methods is because some people would not really like the shot. Like I said, like my heart still almost as though it's burning. Like the shots are really amazing, but they are hot. They're extremely concentrated. So not everybody will really love to take this. So I'll show you another method that I think that everybody would love. Or if you're a tea lover, you would love this. So it's simple and it's still with the same ingredients. So what I do is... I get my my lemon okay I try and just get a few just a few just a few of the back I like to leave the back in sometime because the back has so much more vitamins in it than what is in inside so what I just do is I just dice it up okay into really lovely cubes Okay, I have a pan here. I'm just gonna pick that up real quick. Pick it up and set it aside again. Now I'll get to my ginger. I have washed this ginger thoroughly, so there's no sand, no mud in it. What I'm just gonna do is give it a chop, like you know. If you have a grater, you know you can grate it, but just I, I like to just chop it in, like really. Right there, just tiny bits, you know. Okay, I have this now, and I'm also gonna get my pan again. And I'm also gonna have that in here. Okay, I'll set this aside again because I love to be neat. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean my surface if I continue that done, and I'm gonna wash my hands too. Okay, 
that done so in here I have my um, my ginger my lemon diced and the next thing I'll do is put in um, put in yeah a teaspoon of turmeric in here a teaspoon of turmeric two teaspoons no two teaspoons of turmeric here and that's it and I add my water and when I add my add, for this amount I'll just rather just fill up the size of pot and I'll just put it on here for it to boil now I'm just gonna bring the one I've been boiling for a while here that is it I've been boiling this for a while so here so yeah this is what it might look like okay I have this kettle here this kettle is really amazing because it serves as so many different things I'll show you in a minute um, it has this okay so why I just put this in here it will just help me sieve out all the things I do not need and make it a tea for me but if you don't have something like this you can also still use this to drain the water out because the water is what you need now okay so I'll just do this is so amazing and you just put your honey to taste however I like it I want it too much so I, I don't like honey so much I, I think I'm allergic to honey but I take the right amount which is okay and it just sets me right so this is it my tea is I just put a little bit my tea is ready this is one of the best tea on earth it is so calming it's rejuvenating it's um it, it wakens you up um some people use it for hangover too but um this is a great immune system booster and this is my tea so i'll just take a sip so you can know how amazing it is. it's gonna be hot though but mm. oh my god oh my god I think this is the best immune system booster tea I've ever made. I made because I'm making it for the camera, but for some reason, it's just amazing. So yes, these are just very simple methods for you to do at home with things around you. I mean, some people even have lemon tree in their lemon trees in their house, planted behind their house or something. These are just very easy DIY remedies that you can use. Why go to the store and pump yourself with so much chemical trying to boost your immune system when you can do it at home? Thank you very much for watching DIY with King Tonto. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you're going to share this information to your friends, your family and your loved one to save a life because at this moment when the pandemic coronavirus is just everywhere and it seems to not be going because I heard that in some countries it stopped and it's come back again so we're not sure this is just the safest way for you out and it's also a flu killer too thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tell your friends to subscribe I tell your other friends to subscribe and tell your other 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 friends to subscribe thank you very much I love you